Positive Ray Delivers, this is Dr. Gigi Lisong uh, from Mike and Jane's Project. Magandang Sunday morning sa lahat ng mga delivers natin. Ito sa first time po tayo magpanood sa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Please subscribe. Click na po yan, Doc. Gigi so nga. Alright, so doon sa lahat ng mga may negosyo na o magsisimula pa lang magnegosyo, don't forget these two things. Alright, so, so two things na dapat pag-isipan ng CEO or mag-partner sa negosyo para mas uh, tumaas ang ating uh, profit. ba? Diba? Remember, the reason why you have your business is hindi para mapagod ka, hindi para maging busy ka lang, di ba? Ang reason bakit ka nag-put up ng negosyo mo is para kumita ka. Kaya nga yung warning ko or check, reality check sa mga business owner or entrepreneur na don't forget that hindi ka lang basta busy. Uh, dapat may kinikita negosyo mo, di ba? So dapat meron tayong inventory, yung accounting aspect natin, malinaw, maayos, okay? Uh, never mind uh, hiring or paying someone who will do the your the accounting part of your uh, business. Kasi malaga that uh, at the end of the month, at the end of the year, nakita mo uh, na, yung ROI mo, eto, nabawi mo na yung puhunan mo, and at the same time, eto yung kinikita mo. Very important po yan sa negosyo, okay? So, second, uh, paano ba, okay, Doggy, nandun na ako, kumikita na may negosyo, let's say, 10,000 a month, kung small business yan, or 20, or 50,000 a month, okay? So, ang target ko ay mag-100,000 a month, ang aking uh, kikitain, okay? So, uh, there are two things, right? Number one, you need to scale up your business. Scale up your business, meaning, iitaas natin konti yung, uh, not that value but uh, this is my own definition of scaling up your business so maraming meaning niya pero for the sake of our video this morning so yan natin I, let me give my own definition of scaling up your business so that means for example uh, like sa case namin ng uh, sa overrun okay sa overrun business uh, ang normal kasi na traditional okay traditional na uh, uh, ginagawa ng mga overrun na nagnegosyo, may pwesto sila tapos they are waiting for buyers. Okay. So, that's the traditional. It's okay, but uh, pwede mo siyang scale up. Okay. Or, siguro, gamitin natin, level up. Okay. Uh, pagkuha mo ng mga uh, products mo, okay, try to be a distributor. So, maglagay ka sa palengke, sa pwesto sa palengke, uh, magbigay ka sa mga natitinda, malilit na overrun sa sa malapit sa iyo sa province mo, di ba? So that's scaling up, okay? So meaning instead of going into retailing, so so, so, so sub supplier ka na, sub supplier talaga no. So mean supply mini supplier ka na do sa mga natitinda. Okay? So something like that. Think of that uh, uh, concept. It's a business model, it's a business concept na uh, pwede nating uh, uh, gawin, di ba? Like, uh, siguro mga last year, yung brother ko, ganun siya, meron siyang bigasan. So, yung ginawa niya, uh, nag-distribute talaga siya ng bigas sa mga karindirya, sa mga ano. So, hindi siya naghihintay ng buyer, okay? So, kung ano yung negosyo mo, ngayon, at present, okay? Uh, why not think of something na pwede ko siyang scale up, I can be a distributor, di ba? Kung mga school supplies yan, dumirect ka na sa, uh, sa source, Manila, mukha na madami, kumukusap ka ng maliliit na school supplier, school supply store sa, sa provinces nyo. So, sa, sa lugar nyo mismo, okay, then mag-distribute uh, ka. So, that's something na in that term, so, meron ka rin maliit na nagre-retail ka and at the same time, nag-supply ka, so, dalawa yung pwede mong kitain doon. ba? So, dalawa yung pwede mong uh, maging tubo doon sa, sa, sa ganong uh, system. So, uh, ang gagawin mo lang, just sit down, you plan, okay, mamaya. So, uh, mamaya ang gabi, uh, punta ka sa coffee shop, pag coffee ka, then kung pwede meron kang isang ka-brainstorm, pag-usapan nyo kung ano yung pwede mong gawin sa uh, negosyo nyo. Like, uh, one time, meron akong kinotes na magkakapatid. So, may retailing sila ng uh, feed supply, then nagsusupply din sila, then may bumibili din sa kanila ng bulk, di ba? So, scaling up your business. So, dalawa yung pinanggagalingan nila ng profit nila. One, doon sa retailing nila, kasi may mga bumibili ng tingisang kilo, limang kilo, 
then sila din med meron din bibili ng bulk nag or nagdi-deliver din sila kasi may mga malilit sila sino supplier. It's just like that, okay? So kung paano yung model na yan, Dok, hindi, hindi ko siya masyado magets. I can coach you, right? So tawagan mo ko 09395254311. So mag-usap tayo how to scale up your business. Ah, uh, palalakin natin ang negosyo mo. Na palalakin natin na uh, I can help you to, you know, uh, to step uh, high level. Step mo ng high level. One one step higher ang yung negosyo, right? But you're not leaving that retailing uh, uh, retailing model. Okay lang yon, kasi pang ano mo yun eh, daily income mo yun. Okay? Hindi pang daily income. So, sa other business, pwede natin gawin yan. Okay? So, tawagan mo lang ako. Okay? Second na uh, uh, dapat mong gawin sa yung uh, negosyo ay don't forget social media marketing. Right? So, that's very important. And it's, yun yung trend ngayon eh. di ba? Uh, sabi nga ni Tai Lopez, I always tell this in my video, um, don't forget to catch the trend. <laughs> so, ano yung trend ngayon? Ang trend natin ngayon is the social media. So, you, you need to choose one platform. Okay? Pili ka ng isang platform. Anong platform ang pwede mong gawin to market your business? Okay? Like in my case, I market in GDS Corporate Training. Uh, using my YouTube channel. So, dyan tayo na ako ng mga kliyente in coaching, uh, overhand business na rin natin, uh, t-shirt business. So, yung mga malilit natin negosyo na kumikita tayo ng, uh, hindi mo ganun kalaki-laki talaga. So, ang main source of income talaga natin is my training and coaching. Okay? So, I just launch small businesses to help other people na pa-promote and also to help my family na may, may ingroon sila yung nasikaso. And also, there is to test models. So, test. <laughs> Ginagawa ko talaga ng testing model ang business ko. <laughs> Para may may share ako sa inyo. Okay? So, I'm trying kung yung kayang kung bigyan ng punan ginagawa natin. Okay? So, I, my platform is my YouTube channel, my FB page. So, these two uh, social media platforms, uh, I think ginagamit natin to market my business. So, don't forget social media marketing. You pick one. Okay? So, kung wili ka, pwede IG mo, FB mo. So, I start Start uh, cleaning your FB. So, kung meron kang negosyo, go back to your FB account. Tinan mo anong nakalagay dyan. Baka naman nakalagay dyan. Where do you live? Eh, di sa puso ko. <laughs> Wala yung mga pabebe. Post kasi you are already you are an entrepreneur. Diba? Nagsiset ka na ng model, ng standard. Uh, parang kapon, I was... I received messages. Nag, meron akong kausap sa text. So, sabi niya, Dok yang Nakaya ka nang biruin kasi when you look at your FB, uh, ang taas ng standard eh. World coach, rockstar speaker, diba? <laughs> YouTuber, mga ganun mga title natin. So, i-align mo na ngayon yung social media account mo dun sa yung present status. Parang you are rebranding yourself. Alright, simple as that. You are rebranding uh, yourself and you're choosing your FB page, okay? FB account. And uh, this is good news for you. Uh, this week, uh, I'm launching my new business. Yeah, <laughs> so meron na tayong uh, new business. That is social media marketing agency. So, dun, sa lahat ng mga may existing business, we can handle your your social media. So we can, um, you know, uh, I can help you to uh, to market your your business. Uh, pwede kitang gawa ng you know, I can help you to choose one, one of the many platforms, one platform, and then how to manage it. So I have my team to do that. Okay, and uh, uh, team natin yan. Uh, as of today, ah, uh, kausap natin kung magkakaayos uh, kami. May business partner tayo yan, Sir Mark. Hi, Sir Mark. Uh, Siya yung kausap natin sa akin, social media marketing. Why social media marketing agency? So why have that? Because... I just realized that uh, social media is inevitable to your business. Uh, kailangan siya sa negosyo talaga natin. Kaya, uh, more and more people are, uh, or they want to increase their profit. And one of the easiest ways to do that is through social media marketing. Okay, so, para mas marami tayong matulungan ng mga business owners, lalo yung mga nag-start pa lang na kanilang uh, negosyo. So, I can help you to, I can assist you actually para uh, ma-promote, mag-increase yung sales ng iyong uh, negosyo. Kung paano yan, Dok G, how is that? 
So, pwede mo akong ulitawagan. Taming kuli number ko, 0939-525-4311. Or sa aking FB page, message mo ako doon. So, Dr. Gigi Diso nga. And FB account, Gigi Diso nga. Alright? So, sabi ko nga sa inyo, uh, never stop to, never stop doing something new in your life. Okay? So, right now, this month only, uh, dalawa yung nilaunch nating negosyo. Last month, ito, March pa rin eh. Uh, I launched my Overrun products and uh, Great Life. So, if you want to avail with that, Overrun products and Great Life, okay, it's a wellness, uh, we're selling wellness products. And this April, I'm launching my social media marketing agency. So, ganun eh, ayaw kasi tumigil ng brain ko, lalo ngayon na uh, medyo nano na tayo, uh, clear tayo sa drone test sa health natin. So, medyo lumakas no, well, kaya ko na uli mag-launch ng new projects. Okay? So, salamat kay Dr. Clemente sa uh, ano, Clark City, Med, uh, Clark Medical City. Yan. Yeah. So, salamat. Uh, she's a cardiologist po doon. So, she na clear na okay na tayo. Except, isang test na lang, uh, treadmill, stress, uh, heart, something like that. <laughs> anyway, so, yun yung mga, ano, kahit may, sa, sa inyo na may mga negosyo, Uh, this is an additional tip. Um, just keep on innovating, keep on exploring, di ba? Yung mga bagay na gusto natin na gawin. Basta pag may idea, idea ka, you just launch it. Like ako, uh, social media marketing, lo-launch ko na yan. So, uh, kahit na anong mangyari, lo-launch natin. <laughs> Para may pumipigil sa akin. Well, may pumipigil sa akin. Uh, Ganon talaga eh, okay? So, upo, upuan mo yung negosyo mo. You sit down. Sabi ko nga yung kahapon eh, uh, the difference between the rich and the poor people, may one of my vlogs yesterday sa uh, Starbucks, sa uh, SM, SM Angeles City. The difference is the ability of the rich people to think. So, thinking is a uh, high level kasi yan eh. Tsaka, medyo mahirap siyang ginagawa. So, ang sinasabi ko po sa inyo ngayon is, If you are an, have an existing business, if you sit down, you think, pag-isipan mo siyang mabuti. Kasi yan na yan eh. Nobody will think about it except you as the owner, as the entrepreneur. Ikaw lang. Ikaw na president kung may ari. Ikaw ang bahala sa negosyo mo. Yung mga customer mo, they won't mind about that. Yung mga kahit ibang member ng pamilya mo, hindi naman pakikalaman niya. Ikaw lang talaga. Kaya pag-isipan mo, mupo ka, lagi mong pag-isipan ng negosyo mo. Daily. You devote one hour. Basta yan lang. You sit down, get no book. Isipan mo, ano ang gagawin sa negosyo? Paano siya lalawin? Paano siya ipopromote? Ano yung strategy? Ano innovation ang gagawin natin? Alright? So, kung paano mo gagawin lahat yan, I can help you. And I can even help you to market or to promote your uh, business in my YouTube channel. Basta kontakin mo lang ako. Alright, so thank you very much, Gdivers. Enjoy the rest of the day. Eh? Let's go, let's go.